Okay, this is uh, throttle stop. Once you install it, uh, you will want to set it up so you undervolt your CPU. Uh, we do this to tr try control the temperature. Um, this is especially good for laptops that don't have very good thermals, looking at the Dell XPS as a prime example there. Okay, so once it's installed, you have these presets, performance game, internet, and battery. So you can set up four profiles, basically. Um, and you can switch to them depending on you know which one you want so for example for battery you could set up your um, uh, CPUs to run at 50% speed um, just to save battery but for the case of this video we're just going to um, select the game profile and uh, these are the settings that I tend to use so straight away I enable speed shift some laptops won't have this enabled if you have the option to set it set it um, this BD uh, pro processor hot, so it's bi-directional signal, make sure it's unchecked. Um, if it's checked, uncheck it. Um, disable turbo. So if you ever want a game without the turbo, that's the best way to restrict your temperature is to disable turbo. Um, but sometimes we don't want to do that. Um, so depending on the game, just disable it. Um, otherwise, um, leave it unchecked so you can run at full speed. Um, so this is how I keep all my normal settings. Um, if we go to this button, limit reasons, clear these. Okay, so you can see here straight away that I'm getting issues um, with thermals. Um, it's When these go red, um, it means it's bad and it'll start um, throttling. Okay, so uh, we have that up there so we can see um, you know when we get warnings and what we want to do um, is test um, our CPU so put it under stress so you can do this using the TS bench that pops up this window and if we select this option here it will run a stress test so you can see my um, CPU usage here um, has gone up and you can see straight away we're getting thermal issues Okay, and look, look at the temperature there, 97 degrees, <laughs> 98. That's uh, obviously something we don't want. Uh, the fan on my laptop is uh, kicking in. Um, and yeah, uh, this will cause you issues. Um, so I'm not even going to bother continuing this. Let's just have a look at some of the maxes there. 98, 98, uh, 94, 94. So these are the four actual cores. Um, and these ones in the 80s are the threads, the extra threads off those cores. Um, so we want to try keep those, um, as many of those below 90 if possible. Um, sometimes that's just not possible when you're doing a constant um, stress test like this. Um, but we definitely want it to be um, less than 93. <laughs> so um, so uh, let's have a look at doing that, shall we? So let's just stop this. Uh, stress test so you can see there it's you know settling back down and everything's going on. so let's clear these i'm going to clear you, you can clear the temperatures uh, by clicking this clear button i'm going to clear that all right and so what we're going to do is uh undervolt the cpu depending on your um cpu model so for example a 6 700 hq um your range of undervolting will change. I have a seven seven hundred HQ, and I find one uh, minus zero one point one five zero to work quite well. So to do this, what we do is you select your CPU core, click unlock adjustable voltage, and what we're working with here is the offset voltage. Um, so to start with, um, for most, I reckon you could do minus one two five. Um, and if you want to go and start at that to see if it works but what you have to do and this is vitally important is for the CPU cache you have to apply exactly the same offset voltage so select CPU cache and make sure that that's 125 as well a third thing you can do is actually undervolt the GPU now I find with mine that the Intel GPU um, is stable around minus 40 um, so I'm going to keep that at minus 40 <clears throat> so 
to reiterate cpu core offset voltage minus two two one two five cpu cache minus one two five intel gpu minus 40. in here we check save voltages immediately and we can apply and if your system doesn't crash that's a good start if it does crash don't worry just restart it and um, you can uh, delete uh, the throttle stop any file and try again okay so that seems to be okay so I'm going to increase my CPU to minus 150 150.4 because that's all it will let me do there make this match this is important remember apply it and that's okay another thing you could do is you could reduce the total speed of four cores so you could reduce this to so that's basically 3.4 gigahertz uh, you could reduce it down to say three again that will help cpu temperatures it depends if you're you know happy with losing a little bit of performance Personally, I'm happy with losing a bit of performance um, if it means I have stable temperatures and a stable um, a stable speed. Um, so in worst case scenarios, just knock that down a bit. Um, obviously, keep it higher than with uh, turbo disabled. All right, so apply. OK. OK, so that's all there. Let's clear all these. So I imagine these will still go into the 90s, but nowhere as high as 98. So 98 was the highest before. So let's have a look and see how we go. Well, that's a good start so far. Uh, temperatures are going up but they're going up slowly um, nowhere as fast as before if you remember before they went straight into the 90s um, nearly straight away and a thing to remember here is that if you're playing a game most games won't stress the CPU at full throttle um, uh, for any period of time things like encoding videos will so for gaming I'd expect these temperatures to stay a lot lower because the CPU won't be running at full speed constantly. But you can see here our temperatures are a lot more controlled. I mean, they'll still get into the 90s the longer you leave it. Uh, the important thing is here we can see that there's no limit reasons. There's no thermal issues going on. Um, so... We'll just leave that go uh see here that the threads are under 80 well those ones have just hit 80. a nice constant speed so like i say if you were gaming uh, i don't know any game that would be hitting a cpu um, this intensely for this long um, like I say this is usually for stuff like video encoding is when it will hit your uh, cores 100% 100% uh, of the time so what would be happening in gaming is uh, the CPU speed would be jumping up and down um, as it uses it for more demanding stuff and less demanding stuff so we can see here now that we've just hit our 90s but you can see there that the the temperature actual you know constant temperature there is dropping um quite well it's controlling itself so it's going to 89 90 max is 91 whereas before we had max of 98 and it was introducing throttling issues and that's basically it so basically we've got throttling under control there um, one thing I will say is that for Dell XPS laptops, you have um, uh, Intel uh, Dynamic Thermal Framework, um, which can trigger uh, throttling at very low uh, temperatures, like 70 degrees, it will start throttling. Um, see my link below 
uh, for information on how to uh, disable that um, and that will allow your laptop to you know go up to you know reasonable temperatures without throttling so again there we're at 75 percent we've had no thermal issues um, temperatures are you know reasonably high but like I say this is as if you were encoding a video um, your temperatures won't get this high when you're gaming uh, it's as simple as that because games don't hit the CPU this hard this constantly um, uh, some other settings just to um, uh, to mention in options you can make it so when you close this it minimizes it to the taskbar and if you wanted to run this at startup um, you can just use Windows um, task scheduler so just use Windows task task scheduler to start it on system startup uh, throttlestop.exe wherever you installed it to and it will start up um, uh, when your machine starts up personally I don't do that in case uh, I've botched something up and it means that when my machine starts up, this starts up and the machine immediately crashes. So I just tend to start this manually uh, whenever I start to do some gaming. But obviously that's your preference. So we're done. So that um, that's finished. Um, there's no uh, throttling uh, occurring. There were no warnings and the max temperature was 92. So six degrees lower than the other one. Um, on those two cores, uh, those ones hit 90. Uh, that's pretty respectable considering it was hitting the CPU 100% uh, for that amount of time. Um, anyway, uh, hope you found the video useful. Um, any comments, um, please make them. I'll help where I can. Like, subscribe, and apart from that, thanks for watching and take care. Cheers, bye-bye.